This is some serious news and that's why a video should be there discussing all of this that everybody should be knowing about this. This is related to the godfather of AI. I'll introduce you to the article, what we are going to discuss. But let me first remind you, this is not an ordinary video about discussing a tutorial or giving you some life advice. This is all about exploring together. Together, we are going to read some article. I'll share my thoughts and discuss on the way and you will understand some of the impacts that are there by the AI. This is something really serious. So I thought this deserves a video. More people should know about this. This deserves more attention and that's what we'll be doing in this video. I'll also post the link in the description in case you want to just read it alone without me. That's also great. Now, before this, let me set the context of yes here. Now, I am, first of all, a very optimistic guy. And I have recently realized that being too good is also not good. And sometimes you pay the price of being too good. Uh, this is what I've re recently understood with some of the course of actions that I did in the last couple of years. And the thing is that when you are too optimistic, when you take things absolutely like everything is good, all people are good, that is where you tend to make mistake. World is not good just like you and just like me. There are other negative characters in the world which can actually misuse anything that you give them, any good thing that you give them and they'll misuse this. Now these days in the AI, you can generate anybody's voice, you can generate characters which are not on the planet at all. The faces which don't even exist, you can actually put them. Now what's stopping these bad character to actually use them for just dumping down your account into their account? There is a lot of potential harm that can actually it cause. Not only that, there can be far more things. This is not just about money. There can be far more things which could be really, really terrible. So in this video, I'll discuss that. And there is a great article here which actually caught our attention. And this is what we're going to discuss in this entire video. It might be boring. Some people might not like it. I'm also reading this for the first time. Let's actually talk about this. This is the godfather of AI leaves Google and wants the danger ahead. So AI, obviously, this is the danger side of AI. For half, in, half a century, uh, Mr. Hinton, a very, very well-known name, whether you are associated with AI or not, he is the man who has given his entire life into the development of a lot of AI products, uh, or a lot of research, rather, which actually gave birth to a lot of AI products. So his heart, his technological heart, actually gave birth to all the things that we study about the AI, majority of the things. So... And by the way, uh, what I uh, learned a little bit from this article is he's not bashing any company here. It's not a fault of Google or Microsoft. It's actually the outcome of the technology that we have developed here. So this is some serious concern. So uh, here, uh, Hinton was an artificial intelligence pioneer. And he is, by the way, uh, two graduate students at university and blah, blah. Some of the things which I'll directly show you uh, that actually caught my attention so uh, Dr. Hinton said that he quit his job at Google where he has worked for more than a decade and became one of the respected voices in the field of AI. So he can freely speak about the risk of AI. Uh, part of him, he said, uh, now regrets his life work. Now this is serious, really serious. Let's just say, for example, you have been teaching throughout the life and now you realize that whatever I have done in the teaching for the last year, it has done nothing good to the society. Uh, maybe 200 million people died because of the teaching. How would you feel? This is not a burden that anybody can take. And this man is having this statement that I regret the entire work of my life. This is serious. Nobody says these kinds of statements just like anything. He's very serious. And this is the part where I realized I should really share this video with the entire world that where we are heading is chat GPT and products that are about to come because this is something which is released in the market. What is these companies? What all these things which these companies are holding, like Google and Microsoft, they are holding so many of such more products which are not released in the market. So what he has seen, which actually drives this kind of conversation. I console myself with normal excuses. If I hadn't done it, somebody else would have done it. Uh, during a lengthy interview last week in the dining room of his home in Toronto, a short walk from where he and his students uh, made their breakthrough. Ah, this is crazy. By the way, there's some ad as well. Rolex? No, I don't need that. Uh, Dr. Hinton's journey from AI groundbreaker to doomsayer uh, marks a remarkable moment for the technology industry at perhaps its most important inflection point in the decade. All right, all right. So there are a lot of things, but here's something that is, again, really a little bit interesting. Uh, here it says, uh, is a fear that they are releasing something dangerous into the wild. Generative AI can already be a tool for misinformation. Soon, it could be risk to jobs. Uh, somewhere down the line, tech's biggest 
uh, warrior said that it could be risky to humanity. Of course, it will be humanity risky for humanity. But what I realize is this, uh, this generative AI actually dumps down so much of the tool. And there is a concept of hallucination in the AI where AI thinks it's absolutely correct, but it's not the correct information. And a lot of people I can already see, they are just generating the blogs and articles and all of that. And there are a couple of slight mistakes in those blogs because they don't come from the experts who knows what they're talking about. These are the people who are trying to randomly become expert in a thing. If tomorrow I start to become an expert in medical science, I can do that with generative AI. And it will produce a lot of blogs, it will get a lot of articles, but eventually I'll be generating a lot of misinformation. So this is exactly where happening. A lot of people which used to be expert, now they don't want to become expert. They just rely totally on the generative AI. You and me think from the perspective of just programmers and we want to generate content just for programming. But what about the content that is being generated for health? What about insurance? What about uh, how to handle the fire situation? Any slight mistake can be hazardous there. So this is clear. Uh, so a couple of that, uh, several uh, days later, 19 current and former leaders. So this is all about that uh, how the advancement of chat GPT was constantly there and then a lot of people came forward a big giant names in the AI industry and they wrote a letter to the AI that hey we need to really take a responsibility here that we should not be rolling out the versions like that there should be a strict check around it is it worth it or not so that's what this portion of the article says about it and here is the interesting one again uh, Dr. Hinton often called as godfather of AI did not sign either of those letters and said he did not want to publicly criticize Google and other company until he had quit his job. So important portion here is until he had quit his job. So that's some serious thing which are about to come in his future interviews. I'll be uh, keep an eye on it and you can subscribe this channel because I'm keeping an eye. I'll definitely make videos. So I'll post a community short or something about it. So a subscribe would be really nice here. And notice here he also had a call with the Sundar Pichai, the CEO of Google. He didn't release this conversation what he talked about it, but I'm pretty sure he made the CEO aware that what could be potential risk of these things, I'm pretty sure that has been done there. Uh, so again, uh, he said that we remain uh, committed to a responsible approach to AI. We are continually learning to understand the emerging risk. We are also innovating boldly. This is a new era. This is an era where I think this is almost a similar era when internet came into the picture. Obviously, a lot of people were worried about it. Eventually, we regulated the internet quite a lot, not 100% but quite a lot of regulations came into the picture and I think this is a good time that we start regulating the AIs as well what can be done what cannot be done what should be done what should not be done I don't strongly believe in just banning the AI right front just like a lot of countries did with the TikTok that's not a solution regulating the things is a solution you cannot avoid that if you're going to be just completely banning it you just completely shut the door for the opportunities as well no regulation should be there uh, so again, there is a nice piece of long articles about what he did, how neural mathematics and all of that. So this is more of a career journey that how he started and all of that. And here's an interesting one as well. Uh, so in 1980s, Dr. Hinton was the professor of computer science uh, at uh, Mellon University, but left the university for Canada because he said uh, he was reluctant to take Pentagon funding. What's your thought about this? Let me know in the comment section. That's an interesting one here. At the time, most AI research in the US was funded by Defense Department. That is some serious, serious funding coming in. Obviously, whoever gives you the fund, he actually always and always dig up his own angle that this is how the company should be forward, uh, moving forward. Or anybody who is going to give funding, he just always take care of his area, his angle, his interest. Uh, so here the interest is from the Defense Department. Very interesting. Uh, Dr. Hinton is deeply opposed to the use of artificial intelligence in the battlefield, what he calls as robot soldiers. So he didn't openly mention it, but there is a possibility that there is a lot of work that might be going in the direction where the battles are going to be fought in the robots. So although we say it as ironical, but do you think that the days of Terminators are not far now? What do you think? This is a serious talk. I'm not just... Uh, fooling around here so this is something that is like really a lot serious things uh, so notice here google spent 44 million to acquire a company started by hinton and his two students and their system is led to the creation of increasingly powerful technologies including new chatbot chat gpt google bar so he's the brain behind everything that's happening interesting on the internet so the man himself is a legend a walking legend so yeah there's a lot of interesting stuff this article is pretty nice and all of that
So notice here one more thing, one more couple. This is all interesting. I'm pretty sure those people who are watching are already interested in that. So as companies improve their AI system, he believes that they become increasingly dangerous. Look at how it was five years ago and how it is now. So yeah, take the difference and propagate it forward. That's great. That's scary. <laughs> that is scary. Like these chatbots are learning at an insane speed. Uh, his immediate concern is that the internet is, will be flooded with false photos, videos, text, and the average person will not be able to know what is truth and what is not truth. And this actually concerns me as well. Have you seen just a few years ago there was so much of chaos because of WhatsApp? A couple of rumors just spread into the WhatsApp and it killed people. Literally lives were lost in that. And now imagine these things when will be flooded on WhatsApp, these misinformation have now text, photos, videos, everything. What will happen when these information will be flooded on the internet with accuracy? How many lives we are going to lose? This is a serious concern of misinformation and the AI world. Ah oh man, this is scary, already scary. Down the road, he is worried that the future version of the technology pose a threat to humanity because they often learn unexpected behavior from the vast amount of data they analyze. Ah, that's true, that's 100% true. Uh, this becomes an issue, he said, as individual and companies allow AI system not only to generate their own computer code, but actually run the code on their own. Uh, that's auto GPT. And he fears the day will uh, when truly autonomous weapons, those killer robots become reality. Uh, we have moved into a far more dangerous zone. Terminator was not just uh, thinking, it's not that far that it becomes a reality, gosh. That is, that is concerning, that is concerning. This article as a whole, uh, this is heavy, this is heavy. So Dr. Hinton said when people used to ask him how he could work on technology that was potentially dangerous, he would paraphrase Robert uh, Oppenheimer who led the US effort to build the atomic bomb. When you see something that is technically sweet, you go ahead and do it. He does not say that anymore. Ah oh, man, that's heavy. That is heavy line. Technically sweet. We are working in the technically sweet line, but what will be the impact? Another atomic bomb, but this time maybe much more chaotic. We controlled the atomic bomb. We didn't build this much further, but who's going to control this AI? How many lives are going to lost with this misinformation? Oh man, that's a heavy article. Um, let me know your thoughts in the comment section if you have some thoughts around it. And if you think this video needs a share, go ahead and share this out. This is crazy, man. This is crazy.